Hello, I'm Jean from Smart Project. So let me show you a bit uh, some, some of the stuff I've been working on. So here's an image with a lot of layers. And so uh, historically, when you wanted to like um, transform several layers, for instance, rotate them or something, you could uh, link them. So here, if I wanted to, to move together the grass and, and the sky, uh, uh, there will be like a small icon here, like like a chain icon. So now you can just multi-select them, which is not new because that's something I, I've shown you a lot already. Um, so now I have this small chain icon here instead, and I can. The yeah, idea is that you can like save your selection of layers. To reuse it because that was basically the only thing which the multi-layer doesn't have is that you don't store the, your, your set of layers so here up I can like remember the selected layers the other nice feature is, is to search for patterns here for instance I search for cat patterns and I get 21 layers selected it's a useful way to select well-named layers or even just search your layers and like uh, it's actually like regular expression so i can cut for cat colors for instance and have all the layers which are named cat something and with this color with this pattern or and then i save the pattern so here i save my pattern i can create as many patterns i want just cat or just dog um yeah so um, and then I can always recall these patterns. So like if I wanted to, to get my cat colors or my two uh, background layer or whatever. So like it's very useful here. For instance, if I want just to to show only one of, of the cats because they're not meant to be all the time together so here I can just like I can multi-select and just select the ones that I want to show so it's it's useful to save them like this so I mean yeah so the other interesting stuff with the patterns when when you save as a pattern um, it, it's not like a fixed set of layers. So here, if I create a new layer, I call it new dog layer. So it has dog in the name, which means it, it will fit dog pattern. So if I click against dog pattern, it selects all the dogs, this new layer included, because it didn't save the specific fixed layer list, but the pattern, and then it, it recalls this pattern. When you, you, see, you can see the difference is italic here when it's a pattern, and when, when it's just a fixed set of layers, it's it's not italic. It's plain fonts. So the other neat stuff is that it's uh, you can use like the Boolean modifiers. So here let me make two sets of layers with some uh, uh, common layers in it so here you have set one and set two you can see it's it's uh, simple sets like if i shift click set one then set two uh, you can see it select both and, and con control click it's after this so it, it removes all the layers from set two which way in set one and so it's a shift control click it keeps the intersections Uh, to remain consistent, these modifiers are the same as the one used in selection tools for, for pixel selection. Of course, you can manage your list of stored layers. In particular, you can remove uh, any set any time. So I hope uh, that you liked uh, what I showed you. For the time being, it's still only on some experimental builds that we actually use for production here. So basically we are playing with it before pushing anything to core GIMP because it's, it's a pretty big change.
Thanks everyone. Also, don't forget you can support our project, um, The Marmot, on Patreon, TP, LiberaPay, all the links are in the video description. So it's thanks to you that we are able to continue to do what we do. We appreciate it. So thanks again and uh, goodbye.